Sakurajima in Japan is a really useful MEDC case study for volcanic activity. Um, we do know that it lies on a destructive plate boundary. Uh, we know that Japan is an MDC, uh, so it's, it, it's wealthy, it's got enough money behind it to enable it to deal with some of the hazards associated with volcanoes, but we're going to look at that in a little bit more detail. Uh, so, first of all, whereabouts is it? Well, as you can see, Sakurajima is in the southern part of Japan. Um, you can see it's located here. We have got a subduction zone that runs next to it, so we know that it's located on uh, that destructive plate boundary that we'd mentioned before. So at this, at this point you've got the Philippine plate subducting underneath the Eurasian plate. So you've got this little animation down the bottom part of the slide uh, that explains where that's actually happening and how that works. Uh, and as we've looked at in a previous video, we know a little bit more about destructive plate boundaries. Um, and the type of hazards that can be associated with a destructive plate boundary. One of the important things about Japan is its population. Now if you look at Sakurajima uh, and its location here, you've got quite a lot of urban areas uh, that surround where Sakurajima is. And so we know that Japan, being as how it lies on uh, a destructive plate boundary for this section is destructive plate boundary here. It does have volcanoes, it does have earthquakes. Uh, those earthquakes, if they are offshore, often lead to tsunamis. So we know that it's quite a hazard um, rich environment. So, how do they actually go about dealing? So, a little bit more information about uh, Sakurajima and the location that it's found in. Uh, first of all, uh, Kagoshima has a population of 650,000 people and 7,000 people are living at the base of the volcano. That's an awful lot of people to be uh, directly in harm's way. Um, it's surrounded, as we've said before, by lots of urban areas and this bay here, Ka uh, Kagoshima Bay, is quite an important fishing port and an important um, location for imports and exports from Japan. So industrially... It's important. 40% um, of the land around it is used for growing tea and rice. Now, we already know that farmland um, around a volcano is going to be quite fertile. That's one of the reasons why so many people use farmland um, or, or, or choose to farm in those areas, because the soil is very fertile, thanks to the volcano. So in that way, the volcano is helpful. It's nutrified the soil. Um, however, it can also cause lots and lots of damage, as, we, as we're going to look at. Um, also, it's a popular tourist attraction. Well, we've got hot springs and the volcano itself is popular with uh, tourists. Uh, a couple of other little facts that we need to know. This here, it erupts 30 kilometres cubed uh, of erupted material comes out per year. That should be cubed there, so that should be a little three at that point. Um, some of the pyroclastic flows that come down there, pyroclastic flows are very hazardous. As we know, they can stretch up to two kilometres in this particular region. So there are obviously lots of hazards uh, that are taking place around there. Since 1950, this particular volcano has erupted uh, around 200 times a year. Now, don't think of an eruption in terms of what you would classically feel an eruption is. So, um, millions of tons of magma screaming down the side of a volcano. An eruption is just an eruptive event. So, since 1950, uh, it's erupted up to 200 times a year, which is, is a huge amount of um, activity for a volcano in a very um, populated region. Uh, sometimes buildings and farmland have been buried be beneath ash. Um, it's brought acid rain with it, which kills lots and lots of plants. And also, as we've said before, it causes local alerts because of poisonous gas. So the gases that are erupted from the volcano um, will often go into villages. Uh, they'll, they'll come down the sides of the mountain, go into the villages, uh, and cause poisonous uh, gas alerts. Um, so we've got quite a serious issue that um, is occurring within this region because you've got a very active volcano in an area of high population which is causing problems. Just on that point, if this volcano was in an area that was not populated uh, or had a very, very low population, 
Would the hazard be the same or not? A lot of people would argue that because there are not the number of people around the volcano in very, very rural areas, it's less of a hazard. But Sakurajima is surrounded by hundreds of And as it has hundreds of thousands of people around the outside uh, and living within the vicinity of the volcano, we then are faced with this problem that it is a major hazard for the people of the surrounding towns, cities and villages to actually live with. Uh, it becomes a very, very big problem for them. Luckily, Japan is an MDC, so it's a more developed country. And as it's a more developed country, it is considered to be wealthier. And as it's wealthier, it can afford to spend money on some very important ways of protecting the people that live in the area. So it can monitor the volcano, it can protect people from the effects of the volcano using methods of prediction and also defensive measures, so places where people can go and actual methods of um, diverting the flow, and it can also allow people to become evacuated. Um, that is a very important thing to note. If we look at some of the ways in which they go about protecting um, the people that live in the surrounding areas, uh, aircraft will measure the gas that the volcano gives off. Now, importantly, they measure the change. So if there is a normal amount of gas given off by the volcano and it's not erupting, they look for changes in that. So if, if, if the amount of gas given off by the volcano should increase, then consequently it might mean that an eruption is imminent. Um, they look at tilt meters, so when the volcano swells up with magma, the tilt meters are triggered and they know that something needs to be done. They look at boreholes, which measure the temperature of water within the volcano. So water contained um, in, within the rock strata in the volcano uh, is heated up as the magma rises. So if that magma starts to rise and the water heats up and you monitor it, you can then start to think, well... This volcano is filling it with magma. It's an increased likelihood of it erupting. Um, hot springs. It's the same sort of thing as boreholes. You, men you monitor hot springs. There are hot springs in the volcano. If they start to increase in temperature, then it's more likely that there is more magma in um, the magma chamber going up into the, into the um, central part of the volcano. So you're going up, it's going th up the lava pipe up towards the crater. Um, these are slightly different. These uh, things like concrete lahar channels, they will divert mud flow. So if it erupts, it diverts the mud flows away. So that's a method of protecting rather than predicting when it's going to erupt. Um, concrete shelters to protect against volcanic bombs and ash. Again, that's a method of protecting people when it does erupt as opposed to predicting uh, that it is going to erupt at some point. Uh, evacuation. Again, if you are monitoring the volcano and uh, the gas given off by the volcano changes, your tilt meters are triggered because it's swelling up, the hot springs are increasing in temperature, as is the water uh, in the boreholes, and also the size monitors are monitoring earthquakes that are occurring as the magma rises. Suddenly, you then, using all that information, can decide to evacuate the region. If people are left in the area, then you have methods of protecting them. So that's a very important reason why Japan um, and the, earth, the volcanoes that occur within Japan will often have greater economic costs, but less social costs. That's quite an important point. So uh, there's an exam style question for you to do at the bottom. It's four marks. You've got all the information contained within the video. Uh, go back through it, pause it at the different points that you need to. Uh, good luck.